Open the track record checked. Now, he says that, I mean, yesterday, that the game is over for the NPP and DC. Are we, as a country, ready? Are mm. Ghanaian voters ready for the third force? No. That is the big question. That is the big question. And see, if Ghanaians were to digest the information before them, and compare and not use individuals as the point of voting but use content of what is put on the table mm. then maybe so i also believe that for such a document the ndpc huh, should be left on its own the mm. ndpc should be treated like the electoral commission mm. because it is the development institution for the country so they should be given all the support to be able to sink all the development plans that are are there including this one into one document to plan the country forward mm. but whether the people would actually read this and see the difference between what the ndc is bringing and what the mpp is bringing is a big question because you see, it looks as if we've been indoctrinated for so long that we feel anybody outside, and especially where that individual is an independent, is not riding on a so-called political vehicle mm. like the MPP and NDC in, are we ready to try them? Because you see, probably the good thing about this is that he has decided that he would bring others on board. There are a lot of people in this country who are sitting on the sidelines mm. who can contribute but because to of where the we are. All because of the system we have makes it difficult. And because of the leaders eh, in handling these different political parties are not prepared to open up but are prepared to keep it close, it makes it difficult. Mm. And where Ghana is today, we need everybody on the table. For me, if I had my own way, huh, we would decide to have a national government for the next 10 years to reset the country back to where it's supposed to be. Mm. To sit down and discuss where are we heading for? Where do we want to head to? How would we get there? Okay. Have these questions been asked in this election? Mm. Look at the campaigning. Has anybody asked these questions? Because for me, the free bees that we give, huh, there's, you see the World Bank report mm -hmm. with, rega tax. with regards to taxes mm. and what it is saying. Don't you think we've got to a time where we all need to sit around the table and say, where we are today, because this country is by the cliff. A small puff of wind would put us down into the ravine. Let's pull ourselves back and let's sit around. Even if we say, hmm, you are taking everybody's uh, manifesto and sit down <coughs> and go through it. Because they are, there's academia in this country who can actually look at some of these things for the country. Hmm. Do you know what's in the MPP, uh, the, the, the NDC uh, manifesto? The, the youth manifesto. Yes. They are going to launch their main manifesto, okay. but we okay. know about the youth manifesto. What you've heard so far in the youth manifesto, hmm. would it help the country? Is this something that you would say, this is what we need? Three fees for level 100. Exactly. I mean, for me, for me, that particular issue, free fees for level 100, it's like when uh, President Kufuado brought uh, uh, um, uh, free SHS. Mm. We said there are some people who can pay, and there are some people who can't pay. Mm. Should it not be targeted? targeted? And you can only target that if you have the right data. Do we have the right data? And going forward, that is one area that helps policy. Mm -hmm. Getting the right data in place to be able to put your policy in line okay. with that kind of data. All right. Uh, uh, let me 